Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Dr. Farah. My name is Muhammad Zufika Fahmi bin Mat Sarif. My matrix number S54997. We are from group 9. So this is our presentation for the strategy of international business of Nestle Malaysia. First of all, we go to the introduction part which is background of this study. One sort of international business strategy is international which is focuses on exporting goods and services to other markets or constantly buying products and resources for domestic use from other nations. Companies that use this method are typically based only in their home nation, avoiding the need to investment in personal and facilities elsewhere. Now we go to the performance and trends Nestle Malaysia Berhad for strategy international business. Nestle Malaysia Berhad is always aware of their mission as they pursue their goals. This is fundamental to their commitments, motivating them as individuals, sustaining them as a business, and allowing them to make important contribution to society. As a result, the company's long-term growth is accelerated. Nestle Malaysia operates in a fast-changing environment, particularly when it, come, when it comes to encouraging healthy lifestyle and tackling environmental challenges such as climate change. These global trends, which are also gaining traction in Malaysia, force all companies in the fast-moving consumer products sector to quickly modify their business models and ways of functioning to keep up. Despite having a solid foundation in Malaysia, Nestle recognized that in order to stay ahead of the curve and guarantee that our brands remain visible and relevant in customers' stock, we must continue to change with that. That's all from me. Thank you. Greeting to Dr. Farah. I am Nur Aisyah Nabila Binti Azmi, S54959. I want to continue for our presentation, Literature Review 2.1, The Strategy of International Business. According to Hill 2021, many of these uh, enterprises have pursuit of international strategy. An international strategy taking product first for the uh, produce for their domestic market and selling them internationally with uh, with only minimal local customization. Okay, so I go through one by one. Okay, first point: first producing product for their own market and then selling them abroad with minimal local uh, localization. Okay. Second is uh, to ensure a multinational company's uh, success on the global arena, they, they must be well versed in international business strategy. Okay, uh, the last point is uh, multinational corpor uh, corporation have found it uh, difficult to design worldwide business strategy since their post COVID 19 era. As we know, the post-COVID-19 era has altered the international, commercial, and economic landscape. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nur Akhila binti Mama Ali, S54388. I will present our theories. First, expanding the market. Characteristic distinguished by the process-based approach and it also cumulative effect this is distinguished by which by process oriented approach second location economies it has discussion of corporate government government's mobility across national order besides the entrepreneur can get new experience. Third, experience effect. Multinational company need use full need use full toolkit of governance, 
government governance mechanis mechanism they use a finance related research and knowledge directly to improve their understanding for global standardization strategy it has a long assumed tangible flow of the of the good and service access to proper resources monetize cross national transaction and others it's competing in physical hostile hostile environment next localization strategy it's focused on enhancing profit by tailoring the, the company's product and service it need to meet the taste from the different market the last one is transaction transnational strategy the manager should balance to handle a conflict and inconsistent expectation the enterprise can respond to expectation for the cost reduction and local responsiveness and realize location economies and experience effect thank you 2.3 performance nestle malaysia berhad in international business According to Kanin, 2018, Nestle is pursuing a corporate gover governance plan based on best practices in order to success and continue to nourish and improve the life of Malaysia for future generation. Nestle Malaysia Berhad launched the latest Kit Kat invention in the shape of delicious ice cream stick. For this product, Nestle Malaysia Berhad export to Indonesia, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Thailand. Nestle has demonstrated that it can develop its company successfully. It has also instilled trust in investors to invest in Malaysia Berhad. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurhana Maisara, Pinti Yusna Marino as for Fiji Advice. So today I would like to present about the Strategic International Business of Nestle. Uh, so there are seven uh, strategy that uh, Nestle do. Okay. First is a major with its main competitor. Nestle international strategy included in 95 major with anchors with consider mid. One of its primary competitor at the time which resulted in a significant rise in the sale across Europe. The business analyst recognized uh, the transaction as horizontal in character, giving Nestle the ability to do business and sell it, read, process me and effect food item through Euro under its own name. Nestle internationalization and eventual transformation into a multinational occurred in the early 190. Second is approach of diversification. Nestle adopted a diversification strategy in 1938, introducing coffee products under the Nescafe brand, which helped the business grow its customer base. Okay, third is a market penetration strategy. Nestle used the market penetration strategy to expand the brand even further. Nestle has expanded its product lines to include goods such as Nesquik and Nespresso which are similar in nature yet target this dish a sort of consumer. Nestle has always been the corporation that used its well-known name will, while also purchasing all of the companies that made the same product of Nestle when entering a new market. Uh, a market with the help of a multinational Corporation. So for the fourth is uh, renovation and innovation. Renovation and innovation has uh, the goal of establish a strong and focused R&D department around the world. Nestle benefit uh, benefit from this as it is able able to meet the needs and wants of all its customers around the world. Among the modification made by Nestle and develop science based nutrition, uh, solution, making good nutrition more affordable and Act on sustainability across the value chain. Thank you. That, uh, that's all for me. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad Baita Amin Bruce Lee With my screen number S54862 We'll continue our group presentation The next strategy is for green direct investment For green direct investment has traditionally been a slave strategy to enter new markets The slave acquisition and mergers strategy has proven to be a more cost-effective way to enter the new market the slave started by leveraging customer needs to gain strength, but the company's current global strategy has evolved and changed the company in growth goal. They are increasingly favoring, favoring leasing commodities such as a chocolate and beverages to gain access to the new and existing customer. This strategy may seem insignificant, but it is a powerful strategy that will prove beneficial based on its current growth rates. However, its prosumer approach for small business is still used in ASEAN country. It that nicely used is the nicely location strategy. Okay, uh, first, uh, the first nicely location strategy is to prioritize halal products. Halal food product takes it uh, seriously by Nestle, where they uh, have been selling halal food product according to their market segmentation in Malaysia. This was proven when Nestle Malaysia was one of the largest halal products producer in the world by marketing over 300 halal products in the market. Nestle also imposing the halal status of their product by importing halal products for 66 factories for, from around the world that have been certified halal. This has also made Nestle Malaysia a halal center of excellence for Nestle worldwide. Among Nestle Malaysia, products including You Maggi, You Nestle Milo and You Milk. The second location strategy is to change public perception in China. In China, coffee consumption is low because people in China do not have the habit of drinking coffee because they consider coffee to bitter. Due to the Chinese community adherence to the concept of natural and healthy, tea drinks are more popular than coffee drinks, making traditional uh, Chinese tea drink the main competitor of Nestle coffee product in China. In China, uh, this made Nescafe have a supplement prob problem at first. Nestle had made plan to cultivate coffee drink habit in the Chinese community through advertisement by displaying coffee drinking habits, becoming a trend and fashion to attract uh, a group of young people to choose coffee over tea. Okay, uh, Nestle has also worked on a new formula by introducing smooth latte so that their, their coffee product feel like melted ice cream and not too bitter for the Chinese community. Nestle Finance Strategy is traditional strategy. Nestle is a large company operating in almost every country around the world and is a potential market for growth in developing countries. Therefore, Nestle has taken a prudent step by using a traditional strategy to trailer their product to the needs of consumers in the local market. This success can be achieved through its uh, autonomous local unit, which is able to understand local need and decision, especially related uh, to marketing and distribution. This is done by interesting uh, subsidiaries to modify their packaging and distribution channels according to local needs. Through the e effectiveness of this strategy, Nestle has successfully built uh, customer loyalty and brand equity in the local market. The merge strategy has also assist, uh, assisted Nestle in reducing production costs through economies of location and economies of scale. Okay, uh, this is demonstrated uh, through the establishment of Nestle network of factory in five Middle uh, Eastern country and to supplying product to the rest of the region. At the same time, achieving economies of scales. The move helped Nestle in, in, in producing large unit in turn supplying product to the rest of the region, thus building the competitive advantage.